Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about M-Beans and specifically the memory management M-Bean that you can use to take a look at how much of your heap space is used, maybe even programmatically respond when you're running into an out of memory error. So this has to be the absolute worst program ever invented. As you can see, I've got an innocent little array list here and I've got a loop that just goes on forever and keeps stuffing strings inside of this innocent little array list until an out of memory error happens. And what I want to do is I thought, you know, it might be nice to programmatically manage memory. Maybe say, hey, every time we get to 85% heap usage, what we want to do is we want to clean out that list and get rid of all of the objects that are consuming memory. And how would you do that? Well, the way you do that is you use the memory MX bean, the management extension, the M bean. So right over here, when I'm going through the list, what I'd like to do is I like to say, hey, you know, if the percentage memory used is greater than 85%, then let's clear this list. So how we do that well in order to do that well you're gonna I'm gonna put a little method in here to kind of I guess isolate the code changes that I'm gonna make so I'm gonna create a little method called calculate percentage memory used and you end up going to the management factory the M bean management factory in order to grab access to any of the M beans that are in there so the one that I like is the memory MX bean Let's just give it the polite name memory bean and say, hey, get that from the management factory and you say get memory MX bean and there you go. Bob's your uncle. Well, you got to spell it correctly, but there are all of these little intricacies. I've also got the imports up there already and you can even take a look here. Look at all the different memory beans that are available to you. So there's the garbage collector, the compilation, the class loading. I mean, it's just a whole smorgasbord here of different M beans. But the memory one is the one that I'm actually interested in. And I can figure out the memory usage or the heap usage. There's actually a memory usage object. So I'll just call, I'll call it heap usage. I don't know. Um, and you get that from the memory bean. So you say to the memory bean, hey, as this program is running, what is the uh, amount of heap space that's been used? So you say heap space memory usage. And there we go. We get the information about how much of our heap has been used. Now we actually want, I want to know what the max memory is and the actual amount of memory used is. I want to store those in variables. So I'll say the used memory is, it's going to come back as a long, and I think it comes back in bytes, right? So I have to say the heap usage dot get used. So how much of the heap has been used? And then I'm going to, well, what is a, a meg? Is it 1024 times 1024, something like that? Basically, you get a great big, huge, long variable back here, which isn't useful. Um, but if you divide it by that million number there, then all of a sudden you actually get your number of megs. And so that's the used memory. You can also figure out what the maximum memory that your system is allowed to use. What uh, what did they set as the maximum amount of memory to be used by the GV, JVM? So you can say get max as well. So all of a sudden right here, I've got the used memory and I've also got the maximum memory memory. And then from here, it's pretty easy to calculate a percentage. So let me paste that in here because I know I'm going to mess that up. But I'll take the used memory and divide that by the maximum memory. I'll multiply all of that by 100. That's probably going to come back as some decimal number, but I don't need those decimal places. I just want a percentage. So I'll cast off all of the trailing digits after the decimal cast it into a long and now I've got the percentage used and you can use this to maybe print out the different variables so I want to say hey you know the used versus maximum memory is this and then the percentage used there is that and hey I also want to print out the list size so how many elements are in the list each time I call this method so notice that list is static there it might stick to your clothes when you pull it out of the dryer but along with that it's also available in any other static method so this gets me going here. I've now got the ability to print out all of this information to the console as the program runs. And of course, this method is supposed to return something that's long. And as you can see, the longest thing in there is that percentage used. Okay, it might not be the longest, but it's, it is a long. So I'm going to say return the percentage used. And now this program up here gets the percentage used. And we've also got a little 
printout, logging, whatever you want to call it, inside this method to give us some status on how much memory has been used. So now inside this while loop here, before the while loop ends, but every time I go through, is that 100,000? Every time I stuff 100,000 things into this poor little array list, I want to do a, a memory check. So I want to say, hey, um, let's see if the calculated percentage memory used is greater than 85%. So I say if calculate percentage memory use, that's the name of this method here. So I'll just paste that method in so I spell it correctly. And if I say the amount of memory used is greater than 85%, then I wanna do something. And what do I wanna do? Well, maybe if I've used 85% of the whole memory, it might be a good idea to, to clear that list. So I'll just do clear list.clear. That's like you're gonna take everything that's inside of this list out of it, reset it to zero. Now this stuff's not gonna be garbage collected right away. Just because you're at 85% or you clear a big list doesn't mean the garbage collector kicks in, but it should kick in before we have a, a, an out of memory error at the very least, because we are clearing that list. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple of things here. Um, I'm gonna put a little print on before I clear the list and just say, hey, we're over 85% utilization. So you'll see that in the in the system console. And then I'm also gonna do another little J option pane here. So I did one at the beginning. So this will stop things until things start. Um, here, right after we clear the list, I'm just gonna do a printout that says, hey, the list is cleared. And at that point in time, there should be nothing in the list. And really my program shouldn't be using any memory at that point either, because that's the only thing my program does. It has that list. You clear this list off and then you know there should be practically nothing on the heap. And of course, that really means after garbage collection happens, let's just emphasize when this runs, garbage collection doesn't necessarily happen right away. Okay, so there you go. That's how you use the memory, memory management MX Bean. Let me clear this up so this whole thing fits on one handsome page. That looks good to me. And then let's see what happens when I run this. So I'm gonna just do a little right click here, say run as a Java application. It says, are you ready to go? Now I've actually got JDK mission control here. I definitely suggest anybody that wants to do some work with Java opens up JDK mission control. And you can see right here on JDK Mission Control, it's actually got a reference to that program that I just started. So I'm gonna double click on the MBean server and say, hey, bring that MBean server up. This actually just gives me some information about what's happening on my JVM. So you can see the heap used, looks like 10 there. It looks like the JVM CPU usage there. So it looks, everything seems fairly stable right now. I'm gonna move this around on the page just a little bit. So. There we go, we can see that. And then come over here, we can actually see my code and then actually click on this ready to go. And when this runs, well, what happens is the memory starts going, 16, 20, 30, 30%, 40. Do we hear a 50, 50? Do I hear a 60, 60, 60, 60 from the right man in the back? 70, 80, 83, 80, and we hit 85. And all of a sudden I get this alert here. And that's because the memory used Let's double click there. You can see the memory used is now over 85%. You can actually see this over in the Java mission control as well. It's saying, hey, the memory that you're using, it's getting pretty out of control. Well, I'll click OK. It will clear the list. Okay, so the list has been cleared from a million entries in it. I click OK again. Now notice that even though this list only has 10,000 things in it, it still says that I'm using, is that seven gigs of memory? I click OK again. Garbage collection actually hasn't happened yet. Even though I'm at 85%, now I'm at 86% memory, garbage collection still hasn't happened. It's 86. OK, 80. Yep. So we're still doing a lot of, of size here. OK, and notice, bang. It looked like it went to about 87, 88. Um, finally, garbage collection kicked in, and it took my list down to, took the, it can, even though the list was below zero, it cleared everything out. Now we hit 85% utilization again, and the option to clear the list comes up. I'll click clear. But notice, even though this list has only 10,000 elements in it, which is nothing compared to what the 133 bagillion here, um, memory is still consumed because all of these objects are actually still consuming memory space. Memory isn't cleared. Um, so I click OK. Now it, uh, it still hasn't cleared. And you can actually go up here. I'll see if I can find that Java memory 
garbage collector, you can see here we were over 85% a few times, um, even though we'd cleared the list. And then finally, it decided right here where we got seven out of eight, 80%, 7% memory utilization. It looked like it then uh, took things down, did garbage collection. Oh, it goes to 82%. Yeah, you can actually see the memory management being now recording it. And it says here at this point, okay, it goes down to 9%. You can see that's definitely at this point, it looks like it looks like uh, Java garbage collection happened. But there you go. That's how you can actually write a bean to manage your garbage collection. Instead of getting that, um, not array index out of bounds, but uh, out of memory error, anytime we hit 85% utilization, we know to clear our list. And then the program continues. Garbage collection eventually happens. And then uh, space is freed up on the JVM. As I said, you can even see that over here when you click OK. Notice all the memory used over there. Keep clicking OK. And then eventually, when garbage collection happens, you'll see that use Java heap statistic go down. And then let me see one more time. It's gonna happen eventually. What am I at here? Let me just take a look. Okay, 87%, 7,000, it's gonna happen. And there you go, now it goes down and it's gonna start moving up and up and up there. That's a great little tool, Java Mission Control. I got a bunch of tutorials on it, definitely check it out. But there you go, that's how you can use the memory MX bean of the M bean suite of tools to monitor your memory and uh, report it, maybe even do a little programmatic memory management as well. And there you go, that's how easy it is to use the memory management extension MBean to monitor your heap, see how much it's used, and maybe even take some action based on the results of heap analysis. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Java and mission control and anything to do with enterprise software development, actually. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on the YouTube.